so from Wuji position, you gently let your hands come floating up in front of your lower dantian, the two low goon points on each other as you begin to sway from side to side. You slowly allow the swaying to increase, gently, calmly, moving more and more from each side and as you do you let your hands drop and the momentum of your hands then increases the swing synchronizing your breath with a swing and you allow your body to turn the full 360 degrees around warming up the vertebrae in your back relaxing your shoulders loosening your hips and your knees calm as you come down ready to move into the first position of the eight brocade your hands rise up Fingers are pointing to each other, the both sides of the bow who point on the top of your head and you stretch as your knees come firm, keeping your hands as flat as you can, breathing out and then return. Push up, breathe out and then soft back into the yin position and moving through the eight brocade gracefully and calmly, keeping your mind focused on aligning breath and bodily movement in one gentle flowing movement and as you come to the end of these eight brocade your mind just gently starts to move on to the next position pushing up and then allowing your hands to gracefully drop down into a praying position as your knees soften your one hand then moves out to the side as you pull the string of the bow. You're looking at the back of your hand as you stretch through your body, returning back to the yin position as the knees go soft, turning and stretching the other way, a big pull and then softness. And keeping this gentle flow as your head drops and then comes erect and you pull and stretch and enjoying the flow of chi from yin to yang, flowing through the movements. And again, as you come to the end of the eight movements, you begin to think about the third, which is for stomach and spleen. So you stretch and you just come down to this praying position, knees are bent, and then pushing up with one hand and down with the other, breathing out, knees come firm, hands come together, feel the chi in your hands and rotate the ball and then pushing up and down, breathing out, stretching right through your body, feeling the ball in front of your chest and rotating as you push up and down, palms as flat as you can so you feel that stretch in your wrist turning and pushing, breathing out, stretching your body, and then coming down into the soft position. It's important to keep your wrists flat and stretched so you open the meridians of your wrists and your arms as you move through this movement, opening up the spleen and the stomach, pushing from one to the other as we're gently getting ready to move into position number four where your hands come down and you twist half the circle you gather the chi in front of your heart your middle dantian and you turn elbows come up push away breathing in now as you move around your body elbows come up fingertips pointing to each other and push away Breathing in long and slow as you turn around. Elbows come up, push away. Breathing in a long, calm, relaxed breath as your body turns from one to the other. And you'll notice after practice, you'll be able to turn more and more on each of the rotations. Closing your eyes so you're not distracted moving easily and flowing. As we come to the end of the first four of the eight brocade, which is the more meditative beginning of this set of movements. And as we move back 
back and round, pushing, breathing, being in your calm center. Move now into the liver and gallbladder. The hand goes over the top of the head. The lagoon point is covering the bahu point. The hand drops to the side of your leg, trying to touch the gallbladder channel that goes down the outside of your leg. Moving from four one way to four the other way. And then coming in to what I call the flops. You stretch back a big breath and then dropping down. Let your body go like a rag doll. Really relaxed. Rotating your hands, palms open, stretch back, opening to the cosmos. Big breath in. And drop, letting go. Letting your hands swing and then pulling them up and back, stretching back, big breath in and let go. And you notice your hands do a kind of a figure of eight of a yin and yang and you turn around your foot, stretching back, pulling up, breathing in and then releasing the breath. You must be mindful, especially when you first start practicing this. Only do as many as it feels comfortable. Do not overdo it. Allowing the hands just to drop. And feel the pull down through the vertebrae, down through your spine, flowing through the movement, keeping the chi going, synchronizing your breath and your body as one, moving through the apro cage as your hands come up to the punching, Starting from your hips and punching and turning your fist. Really stretching out the large intestine for each side and then letting your hands move behind you, placing the back of your hands on the kidneys. A big breath in and then eight bounces out. Shaking your body, rubbing your kidneys. Breathing in, shaking your body, rubbing your kidneys. All the chi that you've created in your laogun point, you put them right onto your kidneys and a good shake through the body. Breathing in and letting go. One big breath in as your knees come firm and then shake and let go. And as the finish you come, you return to the Wuji position. Mm -hmm.